Hey all, Paint Marine here with another attempt at a coherent thought. Today, the death of Kill Team. What does that mean, the death of Kill Team? Well, obviously, um, Kill Team is alive and kicking quite well, uh, or at least I think quite well. Um, I wouldn't know as um, I haven't gotten to play Kill Team since I played it at Nova this past year. Um, and so because of that, I am going to have to call it dead at least dead in my book for now um again life is just throwing many curveballs and is getting very very busy and once again i have to bring the chopping block down on something and unfortunately that something is going to have to be kill team and i'm gonna go a little bit more into it while this has kind of been a long time coming really since the release i didn't know it at the time um but unfortunately just with everything going it's it's just yeah so, um, basically, to kind of rewind the tracks a bit, I've loved Kill Team in its earlier iterations, um, where basically it was just a 40k port over, used the same rules and everything, and it was just on a smaller scale, you had like your little team, you still use points, it's still the same rules as the 40k rule book, um, and they just had like uh, little missions and everything you played on a smaller board. I love that idea, you still had your specialists and all that, it worked, I liked it, awesome. Uh, then we had uh, Shadow War Armageddon come out, and this would become basically a, uh, I guess like a pseudo playtest of Kill Team, or their new version of Kill Team that are coming out. Um, from what I understand, it had a lot of similarities with uh, Necromunda, I believe it was in the past. Uh, I don't, I haven't played the new Necromunda, so I'm not sure um, if those rules have changed or if they're just like the past, but... There was something, uh, it was very similar, I guess, to Necromunda, I guess, and then there were some elements with Kill Team. So I, I played Shadow War Armageddon. I definitely really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was pretty cool um, and everything. But uh, there was just a few things that kind of like, I was like, okay, well, it's not too bad, and they kind of keep it this, it, it'll be all right. And that was mostly like, I'm not a big fan of like the token keeping of like you know like okay well i gotta put this token next to this guy so so then it just becomes like um and it really i guess it's like any small skirmish game like if you played x-wing and stuff like that um that's one thing i i just I, I don't know it just starts to get too cluttered and too much like track keeping like you could keep the little tokens on your x-wing cards if you wanted to or you could put them right next to the the actual ships that are being affected by certain things um and so, essentially, it was kind of the same thing, except you really didn't have, like, you, I guess you could kind of keep them on your cards, but then it was just easier if you kept them next to your character, so you didn't forget exactly which character it was, or model it was that was affected by a certain thing, and then the same goes for, like, your opponents, like, they didn't have to, like, try to look over at your cards and then see, like, which who was what, so... Anyway, so I, I that was one thing I didn't really like about Shadow War, but I still liked it, it was pretty fun. Uh, then Kill Team got announced, the new Kill Team... Uh, basically, Shadow War was a thing that was going to be no more, but Kill Team was, and then we saw, hey, guess what? Kill Team was kind of a play test, and we're bringing things over from Kill Team, but we're dropping a lot of the more, I guess, I guess I think it was the Necromunda rules that were kind of ported over. We're dropping a lot of those, bringing a lot more of just the regular Kill Team rules, because a lot of things that were different were like, the way ballistic skill and weapon skill, like all that kind of stuff and how you hit worked was a little bit different. Um, so they brought over the more traditional um, 40K rules for that. Um, but still a lot of things kind of changed and then you still got those same token keeping things. So played it. It was fun. I really liked it. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Like I said, it was still pretty similar to the way Shadow War was, which... Didn't get over complicated with all the token keeping and all that kind of stuff. Um, then we move on. They got uh, released a uh, box set here, the Rogue Trader. I still actually haven't played it. I think, yeah, my, so mine's still in the box. It's out of the plastic wrap, but it's still in the box. Um, but they released that, and then I want to say uh commanders was next so they released commanders after that so commanders was so commanders was the first kind of expansion where now you get to add 
um, like a headquarters unit, and then you play at like 200 points, and you can buff your commanders up. Um, they don't level up. Um, you could, I guess, some commanders could come in at 100, like 200 points. You could just really buff them out to where they were like almost a one man army, and all that. It was not required to play. It's still not required to play, um, but it just added another dynamic and a way you could play. So I got this book, and I actually still have it in the box and actually have the plastic wrap on it um because i got it with the intention of you know maybe using it you know if i ever get to play you know all that and then uh shortly thereafter arena came out so i got that because like you know i want to stay kind of in the loop of kill team because even though i haven't gotten to play it i still want to keep on on top of things because uh when i do play I, I mean i would like to play in events and be somewhat competitive still um but uh it's still was getting very uh i guess i don't i don't know saturated with products because now um then they then they released that elites was coming out so then we have elites here um so yeah so i mean we just started getting all these other things like um that while not necessarily so if you want to play in certain tournaments you need to have the core rule book and arena most didn't didn't have uh, commanders and elites is still pretty new that there's really not like it's not going to be a specific thing unless for some you know whatever event or tournament you're going to they're like hey you know what for this one we are requiring um you to have these books because we are going to allow commanders or we are going to allow elites and stuff like that um so i don't know like i'm still like i'm just i guess Commanders really is kind of where it started going sour for me because that's the moment I realized, okay, I already knew Kill Team was going to be kind of like their gateway into 40k, or at least that's their hope, is that, you know, if you can't come on board with the full-on army in 40k, why don't you start with Kill Team? It's smaller, it's whatever, you can get your models painted quick and you can get in some games and they're quick and they're fast and they're fun cool oh guess what but now if you you know you're tired of playing that play commanders you can bring some awesome headquarters units and then you can bring them and you can get that and okay great and then they announced that elites was a thing so now you got elites so then i mean i started seeing like there was a meme going around um i may try to see if i can splice the picture in but it was and i put i even posted it on the uh, facebook page when they first announced elites and that was so uh, in that meme, it showed uh, a Lord of War. It was like a little Titan or something. So it said like, uh, "Kill Team Lords of War." Uh, so it was kind of like a funny joke, but like, just they keep expanding. They're bringing commanders. They're bringing elites. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, if we don't see you know uh, fast attacks, or like some kind of biker units coming in and assault units and and just all that kind of stuff. So I mean, there was some of that in the original Kill Team. Whereas you could bring um, some Devastators, you could bring Assault Marines, but there was a points cost to them, and so they did cost a bit more to bring those type of units. But, um, I don't know, it just, in this aspect to me, I guess, it, um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm more, uh, I guess I'm just a little bit more abrasive to the idea of it than I was in the original Kill Team where I guess it was already an established thing in Kill Team, and this rolling out, I don't know, I just, I, I honestly, I, it's kind of no different, but I think it's more just, it's more books, more bookkeeping that I have to do that was already kind of getting annoying that I don't want to have to do. So, um, the other aspect of it is, um, as we look on here at their web store, um, they are they really don't have a lot of items so here it says for all kill team 71 but they've um, a lot of that is like just a box of tactical Marines Hargon troop Cadian shock troops but um, they release these kill team boxes and then when they're done releasing them they're like out for a limited time and then they go away and they're usually a pretty decent deal come with terrain and a unit and then they get like the unit specific little uh, tokens and all that which is great um, but like I said then they go away uh, which I understand you know for some of these uh, kill team faction box sets 
not a fan of it because there's still some that you know like oh maybe I wanted to pick them up but now I got to go pay a premium price on eBay to get it. Um, but the other thing that is really my biggest pet peeve is the kill zones. I am not a big fan of how those are just a limited time thing. And currently, this is the only kill zone that is available for uh, kill team currently. So. Uh, just not a big fan that these things are only available for a short period of time and then they're gone and like I said they're generally the uh, the best they're the best uh, kill team uh, bang for your buck as far as uh, getting scenery and stuff for them so um, kind of going forward right now as far as kill team goes um, like really the only thing I'm gonna see myself really looking at anymore is these kill zones um, because since they're limited release um, and they're usually a pretty good deal for the train and you get a little mat and if you flip over so this one is um, specific this side is specific to the Sanctus environment there was the death world one that was specific to the death world but if you flip them over they all have um, the Imperial I can't remember what it was sector or whatever uh, side that kind of connect and they have roads and stuff that connect on them so you can kind of combine them and, and make one big board so uh, you can fit them into a 4x6 or a 4x4 or however you want to do it um, to make um, I guess a board without actually having to buy, a, buy those big kill team tiles and stuff like that so I think that's kind of neat I do like that aspect um, but by and large uh, like I said I just the releases were pretty rapid. I, I, I don't know what else they could have in store um, for releasing other than having just some more faction boxes and stuff like that. Um, but unless they're going to start releasing like uh, Kill Team, um, like Assault, and Kill Team, um, yeah, I don't even know. Kill Team Assault, Kill Team uh, Heavy Support, Kill Team Flyers. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I, for whatever reason, I just am, uh, that's really turned me off with this, I guess, kind of rapid expansion into basically now you have a kill team, now you need a HQs, now you need elites, and then, oh, guess what? Now, by you're all of a sudden got an army that you can play in 40k. But like I said, I get like, I get this was supposed to be kind of the gateway drug into 40k, um, but I guess I just, it just kind of turned me off from it, from all the different things. Now it's just, a game that I wanted to be more simple, kind of kind of like when I'm not playing 40k and I want to pick up just a quick, easy game of Kill Team, um, but still be competitive, I can, but now I really feel like I can't, because just like with 40k, nothing's really uh, matched, I get, you know, overall, like the balance of it, um, and there's a lot of synergy that goes on with that, well, I mean, that's definitely a thing about Kill Team, I know a lot of people enjoy that kind of thing, but I was hoping more of a simplified game with Kill Team. To where I don't have to stay up, you know, every day have to look into the FAQs and the meta and see like what's killing and what's at the top tier that you could grab just about any faction and throw something together and while it may not be the most competitive list or something, you're still going to be able to hold your own. Like I'm not sure if that's really a thing anymore. Again, I have not gotten to play since Nova, um, but uh, unfortunately I think um, just with everything going on and not being able to keep up I'm gonna have to pull out of this one um, I do have a kill team set up for Nova though this year I do have like one kill team pod I will be participating in um, so I do need to still brush up on my kill team I'm going to be bringing a new kill team last year I brought um, my uh, it was a death watch uh, like a primaris death watch kill team uh, it did ish <laughs> I can't even say it did okay and it didn't do horrible um, but it definitely did ish um, this year though I'm going to bring in a Scions version my ODST uh, kill team that um, if you haven't seen definitely check out my Facebook um, and I'll put a link here in the video below to check out the album with my ODST themed Scion Astro Militarum however you want to call it uh, kind of they're kind of a cross between they're, they're going to be counts as Elysian counts as Astro and scions or whatever you want to say for the for the kill team purposes they'll be um, scions most likely 
uh, and we'll go from there. Um, but I am planning on expanding them, which, you know, haha, after all my talk about kill teams being this gateway into the main hobby, um, when I did my ODST themed uh, kill team, I just love the look of them so much that uh, I do plan on expanding them into a, a fairly bigger army anyway for regular 40k just because it's a cool theme and I really like the way it turned out. So, all right, well, I guess I'm going to call that it for this one. Um, like I said, hopefully you could follow along with my attempts at a coherent thought. Um, but unfortunately for me, it's just uh, all the releases and then the, the releasing of terrain for a short period of time and then getting rid of it and just just all that kind of back and forth is really just kind of turned me off and just made me really feel like um they're just really after i mean and i get it they're a business but it's just the rapid release and the constant release there for a good while um uh, was just too much to keep up with and just seemed like it was just going to be a money grab and just drain the whole time on my wallet to the point where I just I couldn't keep up and I like I said with everything going on and family and everything else I just had to make choices and unfortunately the kill team is getting the cut um, like I said I'll probably still get the train sets but that's really about it so alright well thanks for watching definitely please check out the rest of the YouTube channel like subscribe share do all that please um, I definitely appreciate the support and then uh, if you would please check out the Facebook page and give a like and a share check out what I got going on there. So, all right, thank you, and until next time.